All right, so let us have a look at how you can create resumable downloads. By create, I mean that you can start a download and then for some reason the download is interrupted or you stop in you stop it in between and then you have to resume that download. Now, there are other open source as well as commercial applications like JDownloader is free. Um, you can also use Internet Download Manager if you're on Windows, but that's a commercial application. But however, you can simply use a utility which is made for command line, command line in the sense where you have to type some commands for it to work and so on. And that utility is open source, it's completely free, it's a very small utility, it doesn't consume much size on your system. And that utility is called wget, w-g-e-t. Um, in order to actually use it, you first have to make sure that it is installed on your system. And that you can do just by typing wget. So it says wget missing URL, which means that it is recognizing the command. It is just asking me to enter a proper URL from which I can download something or access something from the internet. So if it instead said me command not found or some other kind of invalid error, which says that this particular command is not a valid command, that means um, wget is not installed on my system and I have to install it. And for installation, I'll paste the procedures on how you can install it and from where you can get the entire instructions for Windows, Mac as well as Linux in the description area. So look out on description for that. Okay, now first of all you have to check um, what directory are you in because that is where your files will be downloaded. So let me for directory check in if you are on Linux, Unix or Mac you can do so using pwd which means present working directory. Okay, so I am in my temp folder on my desktop. That sounds cool. So it means that where whatever downloads I do now, that will be saved in temp folder. So let me clear this. Okay, I used control L just to clear the screen. Now I can use wget to download a file. I want to download Google Chrome. Um, I already have it installed, but just for this demo, I want to download Google Chrome. And this is the link. I just pasted it. I got it from um, Google's website. I just pasted it over here. Now, as I click on enter, it will start downloading Google Chrome. So here you can see, um, it says that the length is 56 M, which means 56 megabytes MB. Um, resolving dl.google.com using, so this is using DNS. Um, it resolved the host name to IP address. Um, it connected to dl.google.com, request sent, and the length of the file was obtained. And now it is saving to googlechrome.dmg. That means that googlechrome.dmg is going to be the name of the file that will be downloaded. Now, we can check it over here, um, googlechrome.dmg. As you can see in my temp folder, it is actually being downloaded. Now, let me interrupt the download in between. I'll just press Control C. You can also disconnect from internet or anything and the download will be interrupted. I have interrupted it. So it says 11% approximately, I guess 5 point something MB was downloaded. Let me go to over here. Okay, 6.6 .6 MB has been downloaded, as you can see. However, the total size is 56 MB. Now, uh, if I want to resume this download, now over here, because the size is just 56 MB, it might seem quite not not so big deal if even if you have to download the entire file from beginning however if you are downloading a huge file some big updates or something like that which are quite a lot of data you can you, you cannot afford all the time to you know download from the beginning and for that you need resumable downloads now let me resume the download that i just interrupted now to wget i will pass uh, some extra characters called dash C, this is a hyphen character dash, and then C, C for continue, and then again give a space, and put the same URL from where I have to download. So this basically means, provided the previously partially downloaded file is in the same directory in which you are right now, so I am right now in temp directory, and my partially downloaded file Google Chrome.dmg is in temp directory, I can continue the download from the download URL using dash C flag so 
don't don't worry about the terminology flag and everything you can simply use dash c to continue the download as i click enter hit enter you can see plus 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 indicates this much file has been already downloaded and this indicates that from here it is again started downloading so 56 mb was the total file length as it says over here and 49 mb remaining when we started downloading this particular file and it says partial content so it is recognizing my file and it has downloaded started downloading from where it was interrupted so this is how you can have resumable downloads wget is a completely free utility open source utility if you are a developer you can even go ahead and contribute to wget development and see how it works and play with it more um, let me again interrupt this download okay so I mean if you are a developer this is for you if you are not an advanced user you can ignore what I'm going to say now if I write man which means which is the short for manual wget so it's going to show me the wget manual and I press enter and there you go so it's as it says wget the non-interactive network downloader it's a free utility um, you can see all the information over here if I go further below by pressing enter again it will show me all the flags that I, that I can use so I was using dash C we can see what dash C actually means in the manual okay there you go dash C so it will continue getting a partially downloaded file so this is an example of that okay let me quit this particular manual by pressing Q okay I'm out of it again so okay now let me finish my partially downloaded file again wget dash c and then google chrome's url okay so there it is 44 mb is still remaining and it started downloading so that was it. that was it for this video guys um don't forget to see the description area on how you can download and install wget i'll paste the links over there um the links that i'm going to paste are not composed by me um i'm just going to get it from the internet reliable place from that I used myself to install WGET on my system and if you have any queries feel free to post comments I'll try and reply to them as soon as possible and don't forget to like the video if it helped you and do subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you very much thanks for watching this video see you